God fear you. You're looking well. There are times, knock yourselves now, mostly beyond, when I stand around and people don't know who I am. Yet I've been to the Antarctic three times. And a lot of people didn't know who I was for a long time. But times change, huh? Times change. And over the last few years, thanks be to God, the old name of Tom Crane has gotten around. And who would have believed it that here I am standing in the Tom Crane Brewery Kenmare? Started by the one and only woman here beside me, granddaughter to the men of sin. The blood running through her veins, the blood that was near spilt in the Antarctic three times over a hundred years ago. Isn't it magnificent that here we are to put other liquid into our bloodstream now? Ah, the fine beer of the expedition, eh? Aileen. You must be very proud. Oh, I'm dead proud. It's a, it's a great moment. Isn't it? It's You'll a filter. get your pint. A pint? A pint. The old tongue is dry now, I tell you. But love the pint. Love a pint. And the brewery, Katie, you're going to have flocks of people coming to do the tours, to hear the story, to see the bloodline itself and to be nourished by the fantastic ale here on and stout available here in the brewery. And they'll hear about you, Tom. They will. Your story will keep it alive. And a fine story it is to be kept alive and kept in the family as well. Absolutely. To be there for all the kids and for generations to come. Mm. I liken the story sometimes to a an angel. Okay. I believe people need angels in life, especially as our life becomes more complicated and more anxiety ridden. And I believe that the, the tale of Tom Crean helps people to cope and to find the altruism in their own lives that I believe the story of Tom Crean tells. Yeah. The goodness that was in that man, that was in myself in a way, God forbid, but helps other people to live their lives with hope. It's, it's such an inspiring story. And what you achieved is nearly unbelievable. It is. It is unbelievable. It is. When, I, when you tell the people the bits and the, the, the story in, in sections, they almost believe it's a fictional book that that could not have happened to a human being and the other human beings that were in the Antarctic, Shackleton, Scott, Captain Oates, Teddy Evans, all these fantastic names from the time of a hundred odd years ago. It was likened to going to the moon. Absolutely, you were gone for three years. And nobody knew whether they were alive or dead unless the ship came back. They often talk about the 13 minutes that the, 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 when they went on the other side of the moon and the whole world held its breath the first time they orbited the, the, the moon with the lads who were going to land. That was only 13 minutes. These lads as you went for near two if not three years. No mobile phones, eh? No. No radio either. No. Radio wasn't invented for, I think it was four or five years after that would have any distance at all. So these men were lost until they were found. And they went, went into the unknown. Yeah. They didn't know. They did not know what was ahead of them. They had a rough idea from a few of the expeditions that went ahead, but they were, they were going farther into the Antarctic than had ever gone before. Yeah. So you went on a bit of a trip yourself, and all. I did. I did, sure. I tried to follow in your footsteps. <laughs> I didn't do very well. We, well. we sailed the 800 mile, but we were nice and dry from the Falklands to South Georgia. Mm. And tried to follow in your footsteps to do the traverse 
where you skeet it down on the back of the trident. But unfortunately, I broke my leg on the glacier called after Green Glacier. That was, um... that was 2016. Mm. Um, I had to be manhauled for two days and camp out for two nights. So it was 15 days before I got to the hospital for my operation. So it turned into a different adventure. Well, I often liken as if someone in Pope was looking after me, in a sense, and I think must, someone must have been looking after you as well because you got out of it. That, that was the that's the phenomenon, really. Yeah, yeah, I survived. I, I survived. survived. I survived. Hmm. Time for a pint. Time for a pint, please, God.